Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on the grungy mini book and I'm going to do the decorating. So did you see the video where I shared this and the other two? Shared the two little mini books that I have already made and built the base construction of this. Um, if you haven't already checked this out, I will make sure it's linked and you can definitely check that out. It'll probably make a lot more sense, um, but we are going to do some decorating. Also, did you go and look at Shabby Soul, Susie, Shabby Soul, um, at her videos where I got inspiration for both this project and for the little tea bag art. If you haven't, definitely go check that out because um, I did talk about this last time. I am not going to make one on film because I've tried three times and it has failed miserably. Not the project, but the video. Um, so hopefully that problem is solved. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, when I started this, I was talking about the ferns and the fern uh, guidebook that I so lovingly wanted to kind of pay homage to. Um, so that is why there is a tiny fern in here. Uh, and we have used some of the book page from that fern book. But now I'm not really thinking I wanna spend a lot of energy doing a second book that will be similar to this one. I don't know. I gotta think about this for a second. Um, I did, however, do another little photo take as if this was Ellen. That'll make sense again if you watch that other video. And I put a number two in here as if this was volume two. So with that being said, yeah, maybe I will kind of carry on this whole idea. Well, let's just decorate and see what happens. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be specifically one thing or another. We'll just Let's just have some fun. I wonder if this will fit in here. Oh, look at that. Cute. It does. Okay. Well, I don't know where this is going to go yet. Um, okay. So today going to work on the little cards that are going to go in these pockets and then decorating the pages. So let's get started. I think I have enough scraps. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to definitely use one of these. What I like about these is that I can back two of them together, although I don't know that I'm going to pull these off. I really like this one, but it's a little, maybe a little too fancy. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna go with this one on the end um, or the one next to it. So I'm just gonna cut them apart so I can see what I'm working with here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna say no on those. Okay, so I have those cards. Let's figure out how many we need. Where's the book? Okay, so we're going to put a card in here. So that's one, it's two. I'm not going to worry about those yet. That's three and potentially four. But I already have this piece made. And so that can kind of just stick somewhere. I might do that because I'd like the idea of seeing the tea bag. So I really just need three cards. And then I'm going to stick something in these little pockets. And I'm kind of feeling like I want to put um, like a little ticket or something. And then I'll be decorating these. Okay, so let's make three cards to start. So I don't want to do two like this, but I could do back to back. So that's a potential. Okay. Okay, so this little library card for sure. Just trim it up. And I'll come in with my corner rounder. Back's kind of cute. Let's see what's on the back for scraps. Ooh, that's good. I'll keep that. I'm going to toss that. Here's another scrap with something really good on the bottom. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, so we've got a card, this library card. I really like this ticket end. I want to use that. I like the red and I like the numbers and I could stamp something on it. It's got a fold in it. Hmm. Okay. And let's see, that's just a scrap. Okay. A card, a tag, something, somehow I want to incorporate those. I think I want to do something with this bird. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Okay. That's definitely not perfect, but that's okay. I have these two little pieces here. I really like this one. So 
So whenever I have something like this, I kind of just go around it best I can. And then I'll use my paper destroyer. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called, distressor. And I will come in and just kind of define, if that's the way to say it, I'll just kind of define where I know I want to make it distressed kind of has a natural edge where it looks like it was torn before it was scanned. So I have that piece and let's just cut this one out too. Um, this has a signature on it. It's got a J, it looks like a Joseph, but that's okay. I like it, it's cool. Speaking of signatures, okay. So I have an idea and I wanted to run it by some people that might actually find it interesting. And you are those people. So I, um, back in 2021, no, 2020, I started developing um, my own cra um, stamp line. So I had four sets manufactured. Uh, in fact, I'll grab them so you can see what I'm talking about. So these are my stamp sets, and I apologize for the glare, but I don't feel like taking them out of the packaging. Uh, this one's called Document Nerd. I designed this specifically for a workshop um, class, however you want to word that, that I I taught about um, getting into using traveler's notebooks and documenting um, in a variety of different ways. So I, I really wanted a stamp set that I could include with the kit that I built for that class, and I could not find exactly what I wanted. So kind of had an aha moment and decided what if I just develop my own and start manufacturing or having <laughs> my own um, design stamps manufactured and that's what I did. So this was my first set um, and it's really just meant for kind of documenting, right? Then I also needed some, um, I wanted some very specific stamps for Bible journaling. So I had this one created where I, I designed it and then I had it manufactured called Word Nerd. So it had a lot of things that could be used for scripture writing, Bible journaling, things like that. Uh, to go with this set, I also wanted an alphabet. So I designed this alphabet. This is actually my handwriting, but cleaned up on um, in a digital version. But I hand wrote all of these words um, and letters. I hand drew these pieces here. So that was super duper fun. I hand drew all of the little icons. Um, I loved doing it. And then my most popular set, which this is my very last one in hand. I do not have this and I don't, well, this is kind of why I'm talking to you guys. Um, as, as of now, I have not had any plans to put this back out into distribution. Um, I just haven't found the motivation truly, but it's all the books of the Bible and then a few extra things so that you could again, use it in Bible journaling. So I have created my own stamps in the past and I know how to do this. With that said, I was thinking about getting back into it potentially and creating a whole new line of stamps that are specific to junk journaling and this kind of grungy world because I really, really, really want to have stamps that have signatures. And I know there's a few out there, but what I, what I really, really, really want is I want a stamp set that has different parts. So it would have a first name and a last name and maybe some middle stuff that would go with it. Like if you see here, this is like really cool and scripty and I would love to have initials. I would love to be able to do um, kind of more common lettered names. So anything with the last name or first name that starts with a J, an S, a G, an M, um, a K, obviously for my own name, uh, you know, a, just a huge, huge variety so that you could kind of pick, mix and match and make your own like faux signatures. I think that would be so fun to do it on identity cards and in junk journals and just have this ability to recreate these like signatures. I love to do dates and numbers and ledger. Um, I would love to do just all that kind of stuff, kind of Tim Holtzy, but I don't want to rip anybody off. I want to create something that's unique to me and kind of what I like. So if I were to develop a completely new stamp line, I'm just curious, is there a market for this? Is this something we want? Is it worth um, exploring? So if you have any thoughts on that, I would love for you to um, either comment below or if you have a lot of thoughts on it, uh, you can certainly send me an email. Um, and you can find all that stuff in my, well, I'll link it in. I'll, I'll make sure it's all in there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother trying to tell you what it is. 
just go to the description of this this um, video. Okay, anyway, moving back into what we're working on. So that is what has been on my brain um, because I really, really want some stuff that I can use in all of this. And uh, yeah, I think that would I think that would be super fun. All right, so I've got a card. At least one of these will be a card. Maybe back to back because these are not printed on both sides. So maybe I will do that. Maybe I'll do a back to back on this one. And then these are parts that will go on a card. These might go in that little pocket. So let's see what else do we need. We need some more stuff. Okay. I think I have enough stuff to play with. So let's start getting these cards put together. I'm going to work on this one. So these two I'm just going to glue back to back. And then I'm going to do some, I think I'm going to do some stamping on it. Oops. Glue's getting a little weird. Does it have a right side up? No. Okay, so I'm just going to smush those together, make sure that they're even. And then I will run my distress, paper distressor, my paper destroyer around it. Okay, so while those are drying, I'll let them do their thing. Uh, let's see, what else are we going to use? I think we're going to need, I think we are going to need some background paper. Oh, and I don't want to forget about these. Why don't we pick one of these real quick? The only thing is that some of the writing is really big and I don't want to use anything that's too big. Um, that's, I like that one. And oh, that says, please mail early for Christmas. That's cute. Ooh, I like this one. So if you missed my last video, please go watch it. But <laughs> I shared the product I used to print these. This is just a printable canvas. Um, that I run through my regular printer. I use an HP something something. What's it called? I don't know. It's an HP Envy Inspire. So, uh, works awesome. Okay, background paper. That's what I was working on. It's a piece of background paper. I'm going to use this. And let's see. I think I'll use this over here. I'm gonna get my paper trimmer so I can do a nice straight cut. Okay, uh, these are bases. So I have, what did I say I needed? Three, one, two. I think I'll go with that one. Well, yeah. Oh, it's got a cool date on the back. It's got an arrow. Eh. I go one, two, I need a third card. I don't want to use the same thing. What if I use a tag? Where do I not have a tag? Change my mind. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use that one. I think I use that in another one, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So I want to go roughly the same. So I'm going to cut it right. Actually, I'm going to cut it right here so that I can use this piece with the words on it. Yeah. Okay. So those are my three cards. These are all my pieces I can use. I can use that. Um, a tag. Okay. I have a lot more stuff than I need, so I better get to it. Well, let's start with this one. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and distress the edges and do some inking, which I will ink everything with vintage photo because that is my favorite. So there's that one. And I'll just go ahead and do these, get that part done. Sometimes I really like to go at it, give it some tears and rips, bends. Want it to be really distressed. I feel like for the lack of grungy, I feel like I don't go super grungy, but um, for the lack of that, I definitely like distressing the paper and ripping it and shredding it up. Okay, and then do a 
this one. Okay, I have my three bases done. Get some of this stuff out of the way. I really wanted to use this somehow. I think that could be cool. So here's my idea. <laughs> I'm gonna burn it. So I'm gonna go ahead and light it on fire. <laughs> Stinky. Okay, baby wipe. Clean that right up. Okay. Whoa, bird just almost flew into my window. I'm telling you. So my craft desk is right in front of a window, which I think you could kind of figure out with the natural lighting here. Um, and so I'm always distracted by the critters, the birds. Okay. Whew, I gotta open my window. Oh, there was like 20 birds. Okay, there we go. I also want to distress this a little bit more in addition to the burn. So why is it burned? We don't know. Is it cool? Yeah. I feel like I used to do that a lot with some other project, but I just cannot think of what it was. It would have been a super long time ago too. But I think I used to really enjoy burning paper. That sounded weird. <laughs> okay. So that'll get attached there and then something underneath it. And then I got to put something on the back. Do I put something on the back? Yes, I put something on the back. Okay, so some stamping. I need to do some stamping. Uh, what should we use? How about a ticket? That's another thing I was thinking about is developing a set of build your own ticket stamps. Um, because I think if you... Well, maybe you haven't seen this video. On one of my videos, I talked about these stamps and how I have destroyed them. We're going to have a bonfire soon. Okay, well, I'm filming a video, so thank you for the heads up. Can you shut my door? <laughs> my little one just came in. We're going to have a bonfire soon. She's very excited. Okay, that fits perfectly. I think that'll be super cool. What color? How about walnut stain? That is not walnut stain. Vintage photo walnut stain. You know what I don't use is brushed corduroy. I have that. I kind of wonder what that looks like. Hmm. I'm going to try it. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try it. A little, little surprise my husband's going to do bonfire. It's a little breezy out there, but he must know what he's doing. Although the bar back, oh yeah, that's cool. Backyard, um, part of our yard where the fire is, is pretty well protected by our shed and fence and kind of tucked in, so it's probably fine. But a bonfire means the kids are gonna want something fun. And we just got back from a trip up north. Um, if you aren't familiar with who I am or where I'm from, you'll have no idea what that meant, but. Uh, I live in Minnesota, and we live a couple hours from the North Shore of Lake Superior. Not the North Shore of Lake Superior. We call it the North Shore. It's actually the Southern Shore of Lake Superior. But uh, anyway, we were going to have a fire. My best friend and I took our girls. She has two girls. I have two girls. And um, I don't know if I like that. Do I want it on this side? I don't know if I like it over the ticket. Eh, we're going to go with it. Um, anyway we were going to have a bonfire and we were going to make campfire cookies however it rained all night so <laughs> we did not have a bonfire and the kids were kind of bummed and um i promised my girls we would still do them and so i guess that's the plan okay, i want to put something here if i should just attach i don't even remember pulling this out but it's here yeah, I'm going to put that there. Does it need ink? Probably. Sometimes I like to ink things just to get rid of the white paper edge. Okay, that. What about these flowers? Mm, I like the flowers and I like this tag, so I'm going to save that actually for the back. And what am I going to put... I don't know. Maybe I don't need anything. Maybe I just need to do another stamp. I think that's what it is. It needs another stamp. How about a th number three? 
no good well no this is this is book number two that will confuse it i know that that makes zero sense but what if i just put the word ticket on it <laughs> how about i like this round one it's always a favorite and... <clears throat> gonna go with red something red uh, what do i got here barn door sure gonna use that i don't know if i've used that much yet i don't know if i've used it at all i'm sure i have what does this look like oh yeah 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 that'll look good there yeah now i kind of want to stamp something else in there what could i use let's see what else uh claim check let's do that let's put claim check on there and that's gonna go right there we'll do that in red as well <laughs> i love it it's so fun i'm it's like i'm surprised every time at how cool and fun stamping is <laughs> and i've been doing it for many many years Okay, so this is gonna go here. Do I need to stamp something there? Probably. What could we put there? Oh my gosh, everything's falling apart. I'm not doing a very good job of sticking these back in. Um, how about reserved? Let's just do reserved. That's cool. Um, and I'm gonna do that in ground espresso. I'm gonna make that darker. There. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm sorry if you can hear my family. They are doing whatever they're doing. Okay, that is going to go like that. So I will sew this side down. In fact, I'm wondering if I should do that ahead of time. What's this look like on the back? Yeah, I'm going to sew it now so then I can put something over that on the back because I kind of want to cover that up. So let me get out my little sewing machine. Um, am I going to put something on it like dangling out? Possibly. So I'm going to cut the edges, the tails off here. Ah, I don't need those to be long. Oops, I put something over my garbage bin. I can't get to it. There we go. I know they won't need to be this long, so snip that. Okay, so now on the back, I'm gonna cover it with something here. Um, let's see, should I just do that with, oh, I was gonna do the flowers. I forgot, I wanna do the flowers. That, and then maybe, that's cute, sure. Okay, but I do wanna distress this. If you remember, I said, what I do is I cut it and then I just come back in and distress it. What are they doing out in the living room? My office is right next to our living room. And it sounds like my oldest and my youngest are, well, I only have two. One's oldest, one's youngest. <laughs> um, my 13 year old daughter and my five and a half year old daughter seem to be wrestling. Yes, girls do that, they wrestle. And yes, they are that far apart in age and do fight. Russell, goof off, whatever. And they're being very loud about it right now. But that's okay. They're having fun. Okay, so this is going down. I think I have to unclog this. I think there's a little clog the right side up. Yep. And I'll put that there. Okay. And... I'm not gonna ink the flower. I'm gonna put that there. <laughs> I, just, I just heard my daughter, my oldest, ask my husband. He said uh, they're going out right after the football game ends. And she said, oh, are they in the fourth inning? <laughs> it's a football game, American football for all my friends that are overseas. <laughs> Um, it's quarters. It's four quarters. So I'm sure his insides just died a little bit because um, he doesn't have any sons and he's a huge football fan, sport guy. So 
He is watching a football game right now, college football. Oh my gosh, they are loud. Okay, that little card is done. Where's the book? So that's going to go in here. Oh, I forgot how much bigger this is. I could have done a much bigger card. Oh well. And it's not as deep. Huh. So, <laughs> um, what if instead I do something like that? I might have to rethink my other card. What was I going to do here? Oh yeah, the tea bag. Well, maybe instead... Well, that defeats that purpose. Ugh, I wish I would have realized. Okay, well... No, look, 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 look. The only thing is the tails are now on the wrong side. I might just clip those. We might just not have anything hang out on that one. But, problem is not a problem. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Okay. Just going to get rid of this. That's fine. I don't really need something to hang off of it. Okay. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm going to be filming this in multiple parts. Um, cause I'm running out of light and I know we're going to go outside here soon. Ah! My kids are just being adorably obnoxious. Okay, there's one card. This is gonna need something on it, some stamping, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, let's see, for this pocket, I'm thinking that's all I'm gonna do. And I think I'm just gonna attach a two there. And maybe, uh, I wish that was a little bit smaller. What if I did a number? Number on a number, eh. Ooh, how about this one? No, didn't I have another? Oh, how about this? Yes, I like that. Okay. That, and I know you can't really see the ink, but that's okay. Do I want to distress that? Nah, I'm not going to distress that one. Sometimes when I'm listening or watching YouTube, um, other videos, my I wear my AirPods and you can hear so much more in the background. Like you can hear neighbors mowing the lawn and airplanes going and dogs barking in the neighborhood. So <clears throat> if you are currently listening to this video through AirPods, you can probably hear my youngest. And uh, I hope you just find it to be a joyful noise. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. Uh, it is definitely a noise. No, I don't want that. I'm going to stamp a, a little tiny number here. Let's see, do I have anything little on here? Uh, yeah. I'm just going to do this top number. Right. Cute, cute. My daughter is sick, and I think she got me sick too. I'm starting to feel like I'm going downhill a little. I don't want to be sick. Sunday tomorrow, I have a full day at church. I cannot be sick. And it's my last day of vacation. I've been off for a week. I go back to work on Monday. Although, maybe <laughs> if I can't go back to work, oh well. Actually, I really have to. I... Um, I oversee <clears throat> um, all of the volunteers and chaperones for a very large elementary school. And uh, we have a field trip of kindergartners going on Monday in the morning. And I really need to be at work so I can um, help that process. Okay, that's going to go in there. Um, let's see, what are we going to put here? Let's do something fun. How about this? Ooh, I want it maybe bigger. How about condemned? I always want to use that. Or is this going to fit? Ooh, yeah, let's do this one. Red? Yes, red. Whoop. I should check to make sure you guys can actually see this. I'm not, sh I'm, I'm not sure how to edit a video to brighten it. And it's getting a little hard for me to see. Cute. 
I think I say that every time I stamp something. All right, let me try my lights. Yes, I have to use the lights. I don't like these lights, but it's all right. It's better than crafting in the dark. Okay. So then this slips right in here. There. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Do we want to put... I saw like Margaret from Seven Plaza. Do we? Who's we? Oh no! <laughs> my little label just went flying off my desk. Underneath my inks. You know how you watch somebody or you listen to somebody and um, after a while you start to like, you don't intend to, but you just start saying some of the same stuff they do? I feel like that happens to me. Oh, here, enclosure. Let's do that. I don't know why I keep talking like there's other people here doing this with me. Well, you guys are crafting with me, right? So I'm just going to pretend that that's... Well, that gets lost. How about the butterfly? No, that gets lost. Okay, how about nothing? How about we move on? All right, we're going to have to put something in here. So let's check to see what that's going to be. This or this. Mm. I'm gonna have to make something a little taller. Or uh, this side. Does that make sense? And then, or what if I do the library card on one side and this museum thing, wait, this way on the other side. And then hmm, maybe layer this with this just to get that color in. No. Something like that. Well, that's kind of neat. Uh, okay, so what's going on this side? Uh, maybe that? That's cool. A lot of numbers going on here, but that's all right. Okay, that's what that one's going to look like. And then I think that'll stick up out of here. I have the tea bag in there. Okay, so I need to make one more thing for this pocket, which I think is going to be something. Somehow I want to incorporate this bird. Oh my gosh, I just love that. I don't even think I need to do anything else. I'm just going to put something here. Ooh, maybe this goes here. <gasps> yes. Oh, cool. Okay, that was easy. Let's see. This should glue down with regular glue. I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to close it up, so... I should probably put the pin in it. I'm just gonna do that. Simple, simple, simple. Very cool. Love it. Okay, so this card I will work on. Uh, these are my bits. This might go on the cover. This was the other one. Went to all that trouble to find that little label to put on the bird. No, I don't think I'm going to. This was the one I was gonna stick in here, but now I think I need something else. So um, I'm gonna cut this wider how about we put the pin in the glue um, this again is that printable from vintage vibe of vintage and I can't remember what set it's from you're supposed to be able to make I don't need that part um like a file folder or something i can't remember i know there's a video you can watch i haven't bothered to yet but there is a video you can go and look at to help know what to do with this i just haven't needed to yet okay so that is gonna go in that so i'm gonna trim it or i'm gonna cut these off i bought i saw um Margaret did in Gunther's journal, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, 
I probably should permanently link Margaret in all my videos now because she's fantastic and I want everybody to discover her. Um, she made a really cool, really cool junk journal and it's called Gunther because it's kind of a story around a fictitious gentleman named Gunther. Where's my distressy tool? Here it is. And um, she did something really cool with, a, uh, what are these things called? Pen nib. And I just keep coming back to that project she did. And I thought it was so, so cool. I loved it. And I really want to play around with alcohol inks. I don't have any currently, but I think it would be fun to do. I think I'm going to burn that. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to do something with those nibs. So I actually was at Hobby Lobby recently and found, um, wasn't looking for them, but I came across a set that is, it was cheap. It was like six, seven bucks. For me, that felt cheap because there was like six or seven nibs in it. So I am going to play with that at some point. Okay, this is going to go in here. Where's my burning tool? Burn the edge here. Alright. Oof. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Please, if you choose to burn paper, be very careful. You need to uh, have a ventilation system, apparently. Open your window. And um, maybe have something nearby to quickly douse it, uh, which I did ooh, with a wet wipe. And now it's kind of, oh, that's cool. I really like what it did. Um, inking. I should have used a different color because this is a little too, I don't know, brown? It needs to be more darker. Like a ground espresso would have probably been better, but... I don't feel like getting that out. <laughs> okay. All right, that'll peek out that way. I think that's so cool. Okay, what's going on top? Is it going to be the same thing? Something down? Do I use something like this? Or maybe the smaller part. Mm. Maybe I'll just go that way. No. What about this part? I think that's too little. Yeah, that's too little. Picture of a squirrel? <laughs> No, no, not a picture of a squirrel. Maybe the other part of the card. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I like that. Okay, but I want to get rid of this corner. And really distress this part up. They're very ripped. Oops, that was maybe a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. I don't know how my husband is out there handling these kids shouting this whole time. It's driving me nuts, and I'm not even in the same room. Okay, so that is gonna go like that somehow yes okay so I'm gonna sew that on okay I just sewed there but I didn't sew through the paper and I glued it um well I'm gonna wait till it's dry but I was thinking of putting that on the bottom like that did I already ink this I think I did there oops <laughs> okay that is that side okay what are we gonna do on this side 
kind of want to put the little, I kind of want to put the little squirrel on there. I just think it's cute. Or, oh, you know what? That's not a squirrel, is it? It's a chipmunk. Whatever it is. It's cute. So I'm going to put that on the back. Why? I don't know. Because it's cute. It don't really matter. And we need a specimen label. Sure. It's too perfect. Take care of that. little inky ink and glue. You can maybe tell I'm going a little faster now and that is because I don't want to overthink this project. I really just want to enjoy the process of sometimes I like crafting a little quicker because you can just glue stuff down and not overthink it. That's what I'm in the mood for. I feel like it needs a butterfly. No, that might make it so it can't go in the pocket. Okay, so this goes here like that. Yeah, okay, stamping something there. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this says perfection, but it's a weird P, so I'm not entirely sure. Let's do that there. And I'm going to go with walnut. Beautiful, beautiful. Then I want to put something here, but I think I'm going to do some sort of number or something like it. Um, what do we have? Ooh, this right here. Yeah. And I'll do that in red. Cool. <laughs> I can't even help it. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> I just don't even know why I say it like that. <laughs> All right, that one is done. Love it. Okay, what do we got left? We need a card friend there. Which is this one? Oh, let's do this card. So this is gonna go quick because I just oh my gosh, Lillian. Okay, I went ahead and distressed all the edges and inked everything up. And now I can't remember where things were going. Oh, I wanted to do some stamping here. So I have this stamp set. It's kind of got like documentation-ish sort of things. And I think, even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense on there, I don't know what this says, but I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. So I need to get those glued down. How was that going to look again? I don't know, but it's okay. I will wing it. All right, so let's see. I think this, okay, let's figure this out. So the card's gonna sit in here like this and it needs something sticking up to kind of grab onto. That, yeah, let's put it on the sides. So I think I'm gonna do that there. Let's just do it. Let's just get it down. And I'll put that there. Was there something else on this side? I don't remember. Mm. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so then it's gonna go like this. So then the other side, let's make sure we have it up right, is gonna go like this and like this. Okay, I must've been putting that on something. I will have to go back and figure that out. I think I adjusted it wrong. Moved stuff over a little. That there. Sure, it's good and down. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I was going to put that over there and put that there. But now it's going to go here. Just fine. I'm covered in glue. All right. What about that butterfly? Where did that butterfly go? All right. I don't think I need the window open anymore. It's getting a little chilly in here. Okay, butterfly. Here you are. How about a butterfly right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Okay. It's kind of got a gray tone on the paper, which I don't want. Bloop. And put a butterfly there. Cute. All right. What do we have left? All right, that is going to go in here. Oh, that's cute. The butterfly kind of pokes out. I love it. There. Like that. <clears throat> so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages ago. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Okay, I am going to leave it at that for tonight. I will pick up tomorrow when I have better lighting and we'll carry on. And I will think about what I want those to look like. Pull out more supplies because I clearly am not gonna be able to do it with just these scraps. So I'm gonna dig through some stuff and then finish decorating. So more to come, I'll be back. All right, friends, I'm back for some more decorate. Sorry. <laughs> I just realized my daughter left this here. We were playing restaurant, so I'm gonna put that somewhere else. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm ready to do some more decorating. So I've pulled out some more stuff, and um, I apologize, my voice probably sounds a little different. I actually ended up not feeling very great yesterday, and that kind of makes sense why I was having so much trouble just processing some of the decorating on this. I ended up with a cold, so I don't feel super awesome, but um, I'm determined to get this done. I really want to have some fun crafting. So I try to keep everything in boxes and cute containers. I really like clear containers because then I can see what's in them, but uh, that's not always the case, and I'll show you in a second. Uh, this is kind of like, um, let's see if I'm in frame. Yeah, I think mostly I am. <laughs> a habit of doing that. So these are just pieces that I've cut from um, a digital kit and I can't quite think through right now who this is but again I'm going to just link my Etsy uh, favorites list and all my favorite things that I've that I've purchased already or that I plan to purchase at some point are listed in there so just browse through and see what you find um, in my Etsy little wish list shop list whatever you want to call it not my personal Etsy I don't have an Etsy shop but um, it'll make sense if you go there <laughs> <laughs> so but I have all of these little tags oh that's a good one research that's fun so I'm going to go through all of this and see if I can find some more bits that um, will be fun to use in this mini book so we'll see pull a few of those out um, I'll go through this I see see some big pieces but then maybe I'll have some little pieces uh, let's see. This is kind of just bits and pieces that I've cut from other another project I was working on, and these are just the leftover scraps. What I'm gonna do with them, I don't really know. Um, there's some. Ooh, here's a little leaf sticker. That'd be fun. And these are leftover from a project. I saved all of those. Little pocket, little bee, little. Oh, I have some stickers. Oh, you know what? I have another box. And I said I was going to talk about this anyway. Let me grab it. So I know I've shared this with you. This is a Margaret-inspired um, project, a collaged little storage box. I loved it. I've actually made another one since. And then I've started procur procuring other boxes, smaller boxes. So this one I haven't yet, obviously, collaged on, but I want to. But I have um, all kinds of ephemera in here. This is what I was thinking of in particular. But there's all kinds of stuff in here, too. So I am going to go through all of this and see if I can find some more stuff that would be fun to use in this little mini book. And then I'll have more um, goodies to play with. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I pulled out some more bits, um, and I think I've got a few things that I can add in that will give it a little more color. I'm still not going to worry about the cover, but let's take a look here. So I have to refresh my memory because 
that was yesterday I did this and now it's today. <laughs> All right, so I have a card there. So I need to decorate this page and this page. Cards there, I got a tag there, decorate, decorate. Got something in that one. Okay, so it looks like my pockets are all full of something. So now it's just a matter of decorating. Okay, this is totally doable. So I ended up pulling out this, um, uh, it looks like a compass, there's a fern, and then I thought, I was thinking I needed to fill these little pockets still, but now I realize I don't. So I grabbed some stuff that I thought would go in pockets, which I know I could change my mind. But that's way too big. I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. Some flowers. Tickets, tickets. Yeah, so I guess I don't really need... Oh, I do like this one, though. These, some stickers. A little finger pointer. Another sticker. I ended up grabbing out some floral stickers. Uh, it doesn't have to be all about ferns. Even though I like those. Um, let's see. This is about... I don't know what this is. Doesn't matter, not gonna use it. Okay, so I'll put these away. Okay, so here's what I'm still working with. All right, so this cute little page here. I'm kind of thinking I wanna add this fern somewhere. And maybe I want it to be on this first page. Put something behind it and maybe a tag. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Okay. Do I want to ink the fern? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Grab it out. Vintage. Ooh, that's kind of dark. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm going with it. I don't have to go all the way to the side because I am going to cut it off. Where am I going to cut it? Well, I'll just get in there just in case. Maybe I'll use the other piece for somewhere else. So might as well ink the whole thing, right? So that's going to go down this is going to go under it and this i want to distress a bit with a little more interest i um was telling a friend at church today about how i have all these new friends on my channel new subscribers new viewers and how i'm still kind of wrapping my brain around it so i was telling her about it and so um she was like well let's take a look so i pulled up my channel and wow guys <laughs> I went from like maybe a hundred views to like 3,000 views on my last video. I'm just blown away by that. And um, my subscribers, I'm over 2,000 subscribers. That is a massive jump. Um, there's so many comments and I'm going to get to them all. I just, I need to take a day to just do that. Um, and I want to, I want to be intentional about that. So please know I have seen your comments. I know that you have subscribed and I see your, um, likes, your thumbs up. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in the grand scheme of things, what does it mean? It, I don't know. <laughs> I don't monetize my channel. I don't really do anything, um, with it, but, uh, it, it just gives me joy to know there are people out there that, um, I hope are inspired like I have been. So I am just, thank you. Thank you so much, friends. It it just, I don't even know how to describe what it means because um, I'm not sure what it means yet, but I'm, I'm processing it. What I am hopeful that it means is that um, collectively as a group, I could use your guys' um, opinions and thoughts and um, encouragement to maybe, like I said, um, make some stamps or make something for us to... Uh, to continue to inspire ourselves and, and have fun and play with and create with. Um, I have no intentions of monetizing my channel. I have no intentions of capitalizing on this in any way monetarily. I uh, just want to put that out there um, because it's just not what drives me. And uh, I, but I, I am driven by just um, the idea of, grown women and men i don't want to discriminate i'm, I'm hopeful there's some men watching my station uh my station just dated myself channels or stations you know growing up um <laughs> but um i lost my train of thought but at any rate i just uh i just want to be an encourager i always want to be an encourager and hopefully we are all just having joy um in our lives because of crafting i think it's such a wonderful gift that god has given us to be creative um and to make things 
that make us feel good, right? That make us happy to create something, to put something out there in the world that somebody else can maybe get a little bit of happiness from. So that is why I do what I do. And I hope you come to check out what I do because it inspires you or I give you a laugh or I make you feel better about your crafting world <laughs> through my mistakes and all that. All right. Uh, love it. Okay. Moving on. Um, how about, should we do the compass here? Wait, that's north, south, east, west. Yes. Okay. I think, I think that's very fitting because this is uh, kind of like Ellen's little, um, mini journal on her escapades of finding beauty in nature. Do I want to layer on this side too? I don't really want to cover up that compass too much. I just want it to kind of be in the background but not covered up too much. That's lovely. Let's do that. Um, the only thing that's, this isn't super shiny, but sometimes I feel like um, the ephemera that has a sheen to it, like there's a pack I bought it's Tim Holtz, and I don't know what it is, but it's got like a glossy-ish, I don't know if glossy is the right term, but um, it has a just a little bit of a sheen to it, and I don't know, I have a hard time using that. But I have found, at least it worked on something else, that if I went over it with um, one of the oxide inks, particularly antique linen, because that's my favorite, it kind of helps take a little bit of that shine off. Uh, whether it's going to stick or rub off, I don't really know. But it's, again, all about fun, experimenting, trying something new. So now my hands are covered in ink. But I keep I keep doing that. It's the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to stick that down so I don't have to touch it anymore. We are going to the pumpkin patch in a little bit here. So... Uh, that ought to be interesting. We, it's literally the only day we have this week um, to do that. And it's, you know, a fall favorite. We got to go to the pumpkin patch, bring the bring the kids to the pumpkin patch. And my five-year-old's super excited. She's excited because she knows there's a hayride and the whole works. And I don't feel super great, so I'm not looking forward to it a ton. But I was thinking about it on my way home from church today and thinking, oh, I don't want to go. But how much joy it brings her and how much I do cherish the memories every year. We go to the same one. It's right in our area. Um, and it's just, it's really fun. I'm very nostalgic. I love tradition. I love seeing, um, I'm a scrapbooker. I mean, I haven't done that in a long time, but I ultimately am a scrapbooker. But um, just kind of looking at all of these memories of going to the same pumpkin patch year after year and how the kids have changed especially the fact that for a long time there was only one kid <laughs> so um you know it was a bit of a infertility struggle and i'm not sure how this is going to stay on here um journey to end up with our second so i don't take that for granted <clears throat> all right how am i going to get this lace to stay because i put it some glue on it but i'm not entirely confident in how that's going to work out. I'm going to just put a whole lot of glue on this one. Oh, I do want to ink it. And I want to distress it. So anyway, we're going to the pumpkin patch. So that'll be fun. And I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not looking forward to it because I don't feel great. But that's okay. I'm glad I'm not doing a live right now um, because I'd be blowing people's ears out because I'm coughing. And the, through the magic of editing, you won't have to endure that. But uh, I do live streams occasionally for a group I'm a part of called the First Love Club. And um, I think I've done one or two for sure that I've either come down with a cold emo almost immediately after. Like as the live is ending, I can feel it coming on or I have been sick. And that's not fun. Okay, so I think that's going to help keep that down. But I feel like one more thing will help anchor this and keep it down. So what do I want to use? Maybe just a number. I want it to be a little bigger. So maybe not that one. Um, how about this tag? No, that's too big. How about the word researched? No, I don't like two of those together. Boy, I'm being picky. A finger? That's weird. Should we do a finger? Keep going. 
That's odd. I like it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. Again, white, gray, don't like. So I'm going to use antique linen and I'm going to go over it and change it. This seems to always work. So I'm going to just hope for the best. I could also try it with tea dye, I suppose, but this works for me. It just takes away that white kind of gray tone. And hopefully this keeps everything in place. Oh yeah, that's fun. Okay, I think it's I think it's set. I don't think I have to worry about it. Okay, moving on. This is already done. Do I want to put something here? Um I don't think I do. Something no, I think it has enough going on. Um eh. <laughs> super awkward. Something goofy like that. Nah. I'm going to leave this. If someday I come back and decide I really do need something, I will worry about it. But right now, I think there's enough going on here. Okay. We're in the middle. What do we do? Maybe a flower. And maybe now I can use researched. That's cool. But I feel like it needs one more little one more little bit of information or something um a number like that and then what will go on this side uh maybe i'll do the <coughs> rose and then this leaf and um a number like that and maybe one more, I have another one here. This is maybe too big. Or is it? Well, okay, maybe I'll do some combo there, but this is working for me. So these are clear stickers, which I really struggle at getting off because I have no fingernails whatsoever. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get that off. I'm gonna try to use my tweezers and see if I can't pry it apart. Oh, yeah, that totally works. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, put that one there. Cool. I really wanna get some clear floral um, and botanical like rub-ons. I just have to find one I'm willing to spend the money on. I see them on Amazon, but I'm just not sure I'm willing to bite the bullet and pay for a set. That, I mean, it's less than 10 bucks, but 10 bucks, I mean, it could be a new ink oxide, whatever. That's, you know, I'd rather spend my money on, oops, wrong one, like a tool or some ink or something than some rub-ons that might not work. So I don't know. I kind of want to, like, feel them, touch them, see them before I make that purchase. Okay, that is going there. Oh, I didn't ink this. Uh, nope, and I'm not gonna. You know, I'm just gonna have to put a little bit more there. It is gonna have to be okay. Not the end of the world. All right, this I will ink. I feel like I'm speed crafting right now because I just, I'm kind of feeling like I'm in this zone. I just want to get some stuff glued to paper. Oh, it says something about a fly catcher. That's kind of funny. All right, we'll go there with that. Oh, my fingers. They don't want to work. A little inking on this one. Okay, maybe I'll get the stickers down first. See if I can get that to work again. I don't know how I did that before. Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, these uh, stickers are a little thicker. So they're thicker stickers. <laughs> uh, let's go here. It's probably not at all in the same spot as I originally had laid it down, but that's okay. Like that. And then this one's going to go here yeah okay I also want to be mindful of not creating 
like these super duper long videos. I mean, most of my videos are already kind of on the longer side because I'm a chit chatter. Um, but what is going on here? I must have already tried to use this because it's kind of not on the film all the way. It's weird. But at any rate, I don't want my videos to be so long that nobody wants to watch them. What good is that going to do anybody? Ooh, that's a little dingy. Cute. Fun. Love it. Okay, moving on. And good. Woo, look at that. Almost done. All right, what's going here? Let's see. So I could do something like that and stamp on it. I think I might. And then if I put, I could put that there, that there. Maybe that over that. That's kind of fun. And then this page will have, I'll just do, oh, I should do another flower or something. That might be kind of fun. Um, or, do that oh yeah 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 okay that is what i'm gonna do all right so what am i gonna stamp on this let's set this aside all right find a fun stamp and let's see how about the field notes um do this one it's a little big uh if i do it like that i'm gonna try it okay so what i'm gonna try to do nope i'm gonna get a block and i'm gonna try to only put the ink on this part here and not the border around it One way to do that is with just masking. And I always seem to have some post-its. These, I think, are going to be too big. I don't want to lose those notes either. Those are for something I want to do. How about washi? Let's grab some washi. Let's try that. So I want to mask it off. I don't do this a ton, so this may or may not go well. <laughs> but I'm thinking if I just do it here... And on this side and the bottom. Because I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. So I'm going to do it right there. Uh, oh, I might need a little more. Where did I just put that? This is a washi I bought from Studio Calico a long time ago when I was making uh, a kit for a class. And I bought a ton of it. So I use it for, I give it to Lily when she wants to craft and needs washi. Uh, I give it to away to friends. <laughs> I do I use it a lot and I have like seven or eight more rolls. Okay, so I've masked it off, masked it off. Now what I'm gonna do, in case this is something you've never done before, um, is I'm gonna say a little prayer <laughs> and then I'm going to ink it and then I'll pull the washi off and in theory, that should give me a nice crisp um, uh, imp uh, stamp. Wow. I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking for, like an impression, but all right. So this should give me, I feel like I'm overdoing it now. Okay, so now I take the washi off, get rid of that. Ah. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp it right there. There. I love it. Oop, now I'm a mess. Okay. So now I just have that little bit there. I feel like it's going to need something else up here. So let's find a number or something. Uh, let's go with... Uh, something small. Um, I feel like I'm going to grab my other set. 
I do like that these numbers are just ever so slightly smaller. I'll use this one. I also, I do like being able to see whoops, where I'm stamping, but I am embracing the red rubber stamps. I do like those. Okay, red, should I do red? Yeah. All right, that works. And then I could put something else in there, but I'm gonna let it be. But I also really like stamping in red over this with like the word filed. I do have the word collect there, so maybe I don't wanna do that, but I'm gonna put something on there. Oh, here, this is a good one. I don't know what it says, but I like it because it looks like some sort of official little, I don't know, document of some sort. There. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, that worked out great. Now, I can get this on here. So that's going to go there, but again, I want to do a little distressing and inking. Get rid of some of these harsh corners. Good tear there. And I feel like my little dauber somehow is getting a little low on ink, so get it out. All right, so that will go there. And don't do it upside down. Okay, so put that there. It's getting a little hard because it's bulky. And then I'm going to do this one. Come back, come back. Go glue. I have another friend I was talking to recently about junk journaling and using vintage ephemera and all of these things. And she was telling me how when her father passed away a couple years ago, was it a couple years ago? Yeah. Um, she has all of these photographs that she doesn't quite know what to do with that um she's d just determined are not she doesn't need to keep them she doesn't have a desire to keep them um because when she told me about this i was like uh you're willing to just like get rid of your family photos that seems okay but um oh funny it says collect and then i'm putting collect on it <laughs> but she said no she has an abundance of these photos and would i like them for my junk journaling and i said yes please so Hopefully, I can connect with her soon, and I'll get a whole treasure trove of stuff. But I was talking to another friend about how difficult it is to see all this beautiful vintage and antique ephemera that people in other countries have access to, and we have not really anything like it. <laughs> so um, I'm just so grateful for digitals. So grateful, because otherwise this would just not be as fun. Um, I love getting like the Tim Holtz stuff and all that, but, um, something about actually, and I do believe most of his stuff is replicated from also vintage ephemera that he has collected or found, but there's just something special about having something, even if it's a reproduction, a digital print of my own, um, some sort of document that, you know, had a purpose at one point. I just, I don't know. I think it's cool. All right. I can never get this pin in here. That seems kind of boring and simple, but I'm going to go with it. I think it's okay. There's enough going on over here. All right. Whew. We are getting to the end of this one, friends. So we have a cover. Now, for the cover, I was thinking of putting... Oh, that's way too big. Now, I was going to put Field Diary on there, but it's a little big. What else do I have? Let me see if I can find, I want to put, oh, I know what I was going to do. I know what I was going to do. I was going to play with wax. Let's play with some wax. Okay, I am going to attempt to fill one or two or three or four <laughs> of these little molds with some of this wax. I really have no idea what I'm doing still, um, but it will be fun to try. So, 
I'm gonna crack my window open. I need to ventilate. Although I'm not burning paper, so. Oh, there's a breeze. Okay, <laughs> let's just, I think I'm gonna go for this cute little one. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, look at that. Totally works. Okay, I'm gonna leave this other one to cool. Now. Uh, that's cool. It's a little thick. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need it quite so thick. But I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so I have that. What else? What else can we put on there? Let's see. If I have anything major and cool here. Got a finger. Nah. Oh, that's jumping. Oh, what's this? No, it's just a label. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Oh, what if I stamp on it and then I make some sort of closure situation and use this to... Yeah, that actually kind of like that. Um, Let's see, but I don't know if this is the right color. But I have lots of labels. Let's find another one. Okay, I found a few more things. Let's see. I've got this red one. And I have this red one. I found a green one. I really just maybe I have to abandon this idea. No. I don't know why this is stumping me. Am I tired? Am I am I over it? <laughs> What's the problem here? I think this is the problem. I like this idea, but I think I'm gonna have to say no. Let's see if this is any better. This one's a little flatter. It's gonna be raggedy bits off. It'd be better if it was a fern, clearly, but it's not. So, we do something. Okay, that is hitting a little better. I think that was the issue. It's really thick and it's not the right scale. Okay. That I'm liking a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, so give this a little inking. I'm not gonna distress it. I'll leave it, well, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am, just a little. Ink. Okay, that's gonna be there. That's going to be there, and that's going to be there somehow. Let's see. I think on this one. All right. Glue, glue, glue. Except I grabbed this out so I could grab what the closure will be, and I was thinking this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I pulled it out, and I banged into the... Uh, camera, which just raising my hands up probably was a little disturbing. So my sincerest apologies. It was probably weird. Okay. I think I'm going to do it this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something on the back. So the string is covered and I think I'm going to use something like some washi. This here, where's the scissors? Probably longer than I need, but I want to keep that Use a little wash. You just cure it for a second. I'll put it there. Barely there. Okay. All right. This is going to go right in the middle and cover up my uh, twine, I guess. That's going to be the closure. I want to get that on there. Okay. And I don't have to secure it in the back, but I probably will. So it's not flopping all around. Okay, that's going to go there. That's going to go there. It's a little chunky. 
Uh, I feel like I want some red on it. Let's stamp something, shall we? How about this enclosure? No. How about not? How about, um, uh, let's just do this received one again and make it look like official. Go in with barn door and I'll stamp it right there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, get this on. My husband's vacuuming, so again, the noises of my household. Sorry, hopefully it's not blowing your eardrums out if you, again, are listening with AirPods or something. I pretty much put the stamp right where I want this to be. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, let's, let's actually kind of take some of this off. There's like a little bit of a lip almost. I have a bad feeling. I probably should use like an emery board or something to file it down a little, but that's in a different room and I can't be bothered getting up to do it, to go find it. So I'm gonna hope for the best here. Hot glue might be the most ideal thing to use here, but I'm gonna hope that by putting an incredibly massive amount of glue on here, that it just works. Stick it down right like that. Ooh, look at that. It's going everywhere. Look at that, I'm covered in everything. Washi, glue. Uh, come on, glue. Okay, I am going to flip it over. And I'm going to address the back. Does the back need something? So my thought was that I want to put something on here so that this kind of stays secure. And I was thinking some of the washi. In particular, this one. Here, this little bit. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to just go with it. This stuff is so cool. I love it. Uh, I'm just going to go with this. Okay, so this is going to come across. Just hold it down. It would work better if I do it this way. And does this have a right side up? Apparently, my door being shut is usually an indicator to my family I'm filming something, but they don't care today. Ooh, that's going all over it. Ooh, messy. All right. That might get something else on it. I don't think this is gonna work. Bummer. I think I'm gonna ditch that and I'm gonna put something else there. What am I gonna put there? A butterfly? A bug? Gotta be something, cause now there's glue there. Uh, let's see what I can find. Moth? I kind of like that. I'm going to see if I can't just get some of this off. <laughs> Alright, baby wipe to the rescue. Got the glue off. I'm just going to go with this moth. It's cute. <laughs> my five year old just walked in front of my window with the neighbor boy. I don't know what they're doing. I don't want to know what they're doing. I can tell you this, she got herself dressed because her clothes don't fit her. She went into the wrong bin. Pulled out all the clothes that don't fit anymore. Okay, there. That works. I'm just going to go with that. Okay, the last thing I wanted to potentially do, get that glue on there, is add um, something to the tea bag and something to this. So, I've really been enjoying having a charm of some sort on it. Um, I don't know if I want to do that again. 
like a paper tag will be good. Uh, what are we going to use? I'm running out of mojo. I'm t getting tired. I think what I'm going to do is try to not start my house on fire. I'm going to have a baby wipe ready to go. Ooh. Pew, 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 pew. Probably should stop burning paper in my house. It's really stinky. Um, okay, thinking about just doing something like this. I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna glue this here. And my big fat thumbs in the way. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Okay, that way, and I'll fold it in half. All right, so that is on my tea bag. I probably could have put it on the very end, but if I change my mind, I can always cut that off. Okay, so there's one. Close that window. And now I just need one more thing I'm going to stick on the end of the ties that bound the whole thing together. So. What are we going to use? I don't want it to be big, so I was actually thinking about just grabbing this little hole punch and some scraps and making something. Okay. I'm going to do this with the numbers and this, whatever this is. Now this might be too tiny. Yeah, I think that might be too tiny. I'm, that's probably like a quarter of an inch punch, maybe. And I feel like half a punch would be, half an inch would be better, which I don't have. But I do have, I accidentally bought a scalloped half inch punch. But I have it, so I might as well use it. Okay, I'm going to do the same trick. And I think this will give me what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go here, and let's see, I want something else. Do I want the little spool? It doesn't make any sense. Whoa! <laughs> Watch out now. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Lost it already. Okay, so this now just need to line these up. So we're going to put one down. Uh, does it have a right side up? It's very difficult to tell, but it technically does. So this is the right side up. And then a little bit on this one. This is also the right side up. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put that down, that down. And then sandwich them together and try to line them up best I can. Yeah, I think that works. Squeeze out the excess and call it good. That's cute. Um, the only other thing I was thinking is some some something stamped in red on the edge of this right here. We need a tiny number. I have a perfect thing. So this stamp set has this little figure one, figure two. I'm going to use the figure two because it's the first one that popped off. And these were actually connected. I might have talked about that before, but these were connected and I just cut them apart. So I don't need to glue. What about the glue on the stamp? That makes zero sense. I think it's time for Kelly to be done crafting for the day because she is not thinking straight. And there. Cute. Once again, it's cute. Everything's cute. <laughs> okay, let me clear the desk and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here we have three completed mini books, all uh, constructed essentially the same way, but decorated very differently. Well, maybe not very differently, but decorated differently. Um, so again, these first two you can view um, in the beginning of this video. So I'm not going to do a walkthrough on those again. 
no, sorry, it was the last video with the construction. That's linked below. Um, I forgot I did this as a two-part. I've been filming for days on this project, so that's kind of why I am not sure where what is living right now. <laughs> okay, so here is our finished product for this mini book. I've got the little tails here from the se the sewing that was uh, how I bound it. This is the little tea bag, so let's open it up. So here's the closure. It has just this little string closure. Okay, we open it up, and inside we have a little card in this pocket. Do a little stamping. Immediately my eyes like, something needs to go here, a butterfly, but I'm not doing that. Um, butterfly on the side, so that just tucks in there. Decorated these two pages. We have this side, there's a little tag in this little mini pocket, and then a card in this little pocket. Um, is this for journaling on? No, not really. I didn't really leave any room for that, but you could always tuck another card behind it if you really did want to have some journaling in here. Uh, this side is just decorated. It's cute. We've got that little fern that is now forever saved in this cute book. Oh, I didn't put anything on the back of this. You know what? I'm not gonna. Where am I? I put one of these. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna leave it. It's just gonna be plain. It's the back of a slide. No big deal. Um, got some stickers here. This little bird, that's nothing else on it. Just cute, sticks in there. This is one of those canvas stickers, uh, not stickers, canvas tags, labels that I printed on canvas. Uh, here we have another card. This one is gonna come out. What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> trying to pull the wrong side. Um, so I burned a little bit of the paper. It's got the cute squirrel in the back. Why? Or chipmunk, we don't know. It's just cute. What does it have to do with anything? Nothing, that's the whole point make-believe world. It's super fun. Got a little stamping here where I did a little masking. Very simple page here. Cut this end, um, or rather ripped it off with a ruler. And then inside here is one of those little tea bags. Uh, it's got a little person in there. Um, let's pretend that's Ellen. And this is number two for her second volume of her little mini treasure books. Um, and on the back, I just have a sticker that is helping to secure the closure. Uh, and the tea bag just has a little bit of paper stamped on. Pretty simple. So it took me longer than um, it probably would have had I not been talking through and filming. So this is actually, I would consider, a pretty quick project. This is something you could sit down in the afternoon or maybe uh, a couple of sit downs and you could actually craft and make these fun little books. And you could think of many, many things you could do with these books. Um, think about making a, like a little one that's for like a birthday present, like a little birthday card, but an expandable little um, book about somebody and their birthday. Put little photos in it. You make it a little cute scrapbook thing. Um, you could do what I did, make a pretend story. Uh, you could do something really fun with the holidays coming up. Um, you know, we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, you can make a little gratitude book, uh, especially for Thanksgiving. Maybe um, if you're hosting and you don't have that many people coming, maybe you make a little mini version of this for everybody to write down some gratitude or you could say something you're thankful for them. The possibilities are endless why you could and would and should make one of these. So Thanks, friends, for coming along with me on this little mini series, this little two-parter. I hope that you found it inspiring. I hope you learned something. I hope you will go and check out uh, Susie at Shabby, Shabby Soul um, and check out her project. That is where I got my inspiration from. And um, I would love for you to drop me a comment. Let me know what you think um, about this project. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified of the next video that's posted. Thanks, friends, and I'll see you next time.